So let's try and just make a, a wedged pin connection between two bamboo poles. Um, given the choice, you'd want to try and make the joint pretty close to a node. Gives you a little bit more strength there. Um, and one of the things that we have as a ready source of bamboo pins is a chopstick. So, the, the, the name of the game here is how do we make this so that we don't push the bamboo apart and cause it to split. So we can cheat a little bit on our hole. So we can get a little bit of a wedge to elongate the hole so we can put in our pin and then our wedge next to that. So, we can put our pin in from the side that's just a pure circle. See how that fits? Not very well. I'll make the hole a little bigger. So when we're using the, the chopstick, the beauty of that is that we have a shoulder. There's a built-in shoulder on these that's, that we're going to make use of. So we can push that pin in and it's, it's going to stay because of the shoulder. It's going to stay on this side without any trouble. On the far side, we want to, we want to wedge that. And so what we can use is going to be, well, for example, we could just use another little piece of another chopstick and we can make ourselves a wedge. Again, notice that I'm not moving the blade, I'm moving the object through the blade. So now, we can go and pin against the end grain. So we're really pushing nice and hard against the end grain, but we're not pushing the bamboo apart, making it want to split. And then... We can cut that off. Now we've got our, our finished pin. Side off if we'd like, if we'd like also. But you got to keep the shoulder. But now you've got the, the tight part here and the tight part on the other side. 